guys, Jimmy here. How you doing today? Thank you for joining me. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, so my boy Johnny, uh, because I apparently don't make videos, I don't make videos. It's not apparent. It's obvious. I don't make videos too often. And he tagged me, and it's called the My Life in Movies tag. I have his video open right there. Um, so the point is, you answer these questions. Uh, with movies and I guess you tell a story that's attached to them so I haven't really looked over the questions all that much I watched his video um, but that's about it so I'm gonna go over these questions I'm gonna answer them at the end I'm gonna choose three people I think that's or whatever I'm gonna choose people to tag to be in this thing um, so we'll see how this goes uh, the first question is, uh, First Steps, the first film you remember seeing as a kid. Uh, one of the first movies I remember, and I, it's it's one of those movies that uh, I still love to this day just because of, of the memories that are attached to it, is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990s movie. I was born in 1990, and that is actually the first movie I remember uh, watching. Um, and I watched that movie quite a bit and now that I'm an adult I own that movie a few times and I wouldn't have it any other way uh, Bad choices good outcome a movie you watched and ended up enjoying even though you wanted to hate it now I I'm gonna straight up say because none of the none of them come to mind a movie that I Was I didn't want to hate it and I didn't hate it at all. I was just kind of um, hesitant to watch it was Ghostbusters this the most recent Ghostbusters um, just mo mostly because it was uh, so different from um, the originals in a lot of different ways and I was more scared that it wasn't gonna be good and then I watched it and it was great and then I watched it again and it was great um, and then I bought it on blu-ray um, so I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was going to be terrible, but I'm really glad that I gave it a chance because um, I ended up enjoying it. Um, other people didn't, but you know, teach their own. Uh, first date. When you went on a first date, what movie did you see? Um, it wasn't like a first date, first date. Um, I don't even know if it was like an actual date date, but a bunch of friends and I um, went to go see Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. I was in high school. And the reason we want to go watch it is because. Um, our like part of the movie was filmed at our high school like the first like I want to say five to ten minutes of the movie Was filmed at our high school and it was a bunch of them um, like it was a bunch of couples and like me and a girl who sat next to each other um, We kind of liked each other, but it didn't go very far after that um, So yeah, I kind of screwed it up because I spent more time um, Making jokes with my friend who was on the other side of me than actually paying attention to her. So Yeah, that's why I'm single uh, well, that's not the reason, but you know. Um, home comforts. What movie reminds you of time with your family? Um, I want to say Dinosaurs, the CG Disney movie. Uh, mostly because I remember being a kid and we went to, we were in Mexico. And we bought it at a Costco in Mexico, so it was in Spanish. And that movie got played quite a bit in our VHS player, especially when we went to visit family in Mexico. Because I believe we left that VHS tape there. So that movie got watched a lot. So that's why that reminds me of family. Um, first heartbreak. This is question number six. What movie really upset or hit you more than you thought? Uh, Toy Story 3. Um, Cause I'm the same age as Andy is supposed to be. So like when he was giving his toys away that kind of hit home. Um, Cause I was that age or I'm that age or whatever. Um, so that kind of cl hit close to home, especially since I'm a big nerd and have a ton of toys. Um, let's see. Uh, seven, Leaving Home. What movie was the first move? Wait, what? What movie was the first you watched without your family? Uh, that's a good question. Um, because I've watched a lot of movies that weren't with my family. Um, but one that comes to mind was my friend Antonio and I, uh, went to go watch Zack and Miri make a porno. Um, that was a funny movie. Um, if we felt bad watching it, uh, just because of the title. And, uh, yeah, funny enough, my aunt gave me movie tickets, um, for Christmas one year, and that's what we're gonna go watch. Um, sorry, Thea. <laughs> um, good times. What movie did you watch most and why? Oh, watch, what movie do you watch most and why? I want to say Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, 
that movie, I sometimes just like have it on as background noise. Um, like two weeks ago, a week ago, something like that, I was cleaning and I had it playing and I would stop cleaning to watch it. And then I'd realize what I was doing and go back to cleaning and same thing would happen over and over again. That's just one of those movies that I could always watch without an issue. Learn a new language. What is your favorite non-English language movie? I don't know if it's my favorite because I saw it once, but I really enjoyed it. And it was a uh, Run Lola Run. It's a German movie. I think it's a German. Watching a film class one year, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and it really made me appreciate foreign film, um, you know, because I had to read it and had to pay attention. And it was it was a fun movie. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, can't leave the sofa. What series on TV got you hooked? Um, that is a good question because I don't watch a ton of TV, but a show that I always have to watch when it's on, um, well not have to watch, but I, I typically, you know, keep it on is uh, The Office. I love The Office, uh, that, that is like one of my favorite shows. Um, Sick Day, what movie do you watch when you don't feel well to cheer you up? Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Um, <laughs> so, looking to the future, what movies are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, Power Rangers, that comes out... This week on Friday, I'm going to go watch it Thursday night with some friends. And I'm going to watch it again on Sunday with my siblings. Um, so that should be fun. I'm really looking forward to Power Rangers. Uh, what else is coming out? Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'm looking forward to that. Except for I'm kind of like butthurt at it since they took out Tower of Terror at Disney's California Adventure. In favor of a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. So there's that. And then the new Star Wars movie. I'm um, looking forward to that as well. So yeah, there's a few movies. Um, what else is coming out this year? Um... Yeah, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know what else is coming out this year, but those are the movies that for sure I'm looking forward to. Um, but, oh, Logan was a movie that I was looking forward to, but I watched it and it was really good. Um, if only, what movie do you want to see remade? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, just looking at my movies, I'm going to go with Tron, just because it's, it's like right behind my phone, which is I'm recording this video on. Uh, Tron is also one of my favorite movies, um, but it hasn't really aged well. Like, it was great for its time, but now you can watch it and you don't feel really impressed. I think with today's technology um, and how innovative Disney could be, I think if they were to remake Tron, um, that would be dope. Um, and then, you know, I wouldn't say remake Tron Legacy, but kind of have that in the same continuity. Um, let's see. Finally, end of the road. What three films do you think you will always enjoy watching? This is a really tough question because uh, my tastes change, but the movies that I consistently can watch without having any issues is Back to the Future, since that's like one of my favorite movies. Uh, the whole trilogy. There's been times where there's nothing else to watch, and my brother and I will just watch Back to the Future, uh, parts one, two, or three, depending on, on when is the most recent time we watched it. Um, that is one. I, that counts as three movies, but I'll count it as one. Um, uh, for me, Ghostbusters. And of course, I've mentioned this twice already, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Those are three movies that I think I'll always enjoy. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll grow to hate one of them for whatever reason, which I doubt. Um, so, there is that. So that's pretty much it. Um, Johnny, there you go. I, I did your tag. I made a video. Leave me alone. Manny, I know you want me to post that unboxing video of that letter or that package you sent me. That'll go up eventually, I promise. It's on my computer, just gotta cut it together. So, all right guys, uh, who am I tagging? I am tagging Manny, because he probably won't do it anyway, um, even though I shouted him out. Um, I'll tag my boy Eric, Symbiotically Geeky. He's not really making videos, but I really hope that he um, he decides to, to do this one. And should I tag a third person, who would be a good third person? Who would actually, to make the video um johnny would have been the one person so i don't know you you watching at home um you know what i'll tag Alyssa white she watches a lot of movies too so i'll tag her um i think she'll enjoy this tag so and then anyone else who wants to do, do this tag um t you know do it have fun all right guys that is it i'll talk to you guys some other time and uh dftba